I have come to realize that the unique factor in human advancement is curiosity. For many of us, curiosity drives us to do new things, like traveling the country or doing the floss dance. <laughs> For others, curiosity helps us take things to the extreme, swimming with the sharks, skydiving, and breaking world records. Did you know that there is a 62-year-old man in Brooklyn, New York, who has a Guinness World Record for having the most Guinness World Records. <laughs> and once you become a record holder, you receive this beautiful certificate that says, congratulations, you are now officially amazing. Not just amazing, officially amazing. <laughs> When I started my company five years ago, I was looking for a way to establish myself in the marketplace and make a big splash. I thought to myself, how amazing would it be if I can launch my company by breaking a world record? And as soon as that idea came into my mind, it went out with, are you nuts? But curiosity got the best of me. And so I mentioned it to my team, my team of three millennial women. And in a typical millennial style, without having any fear or doubt, hashtag, in nobody got time for that. <laughs> They said, hold on, why can't we do this? Two months later, I found myself dressed all in pink. Picture this, I am at the Old Bridge High School football stadium in New Jersey, in a sea of pink. There are more than 2,000 people there. Students, teachers, siblings, principal, community leaders, everyone is there. To my right, the local TV2 is taking interviews. As I look across the field, the pink Susan G. Komen truck is giving out information on breast cancer. To my left, the mayor is speaking with my team. And as I look around me, there are more than 1,500 pink bags filled with cups and mouthwash. And as I look up, there is a big, beautiful banner with my company logo and the words, Swish Away Breast Cancer. Today, I'll be going over three strategies with you that brought me to that moment. The same strategies can be used by any of you to promote your business or your practice. So let's dive in. Number one, to have a clear objective. Now, we all know that clarity is king, but it also helps to be clear about clarity. <laughs> we live in a world of constant noise and information. When you're starting a marketing campaign, ask yourself, is this to promote my business? Is this for brand awareness? Is this to communicate with my patients? Is it to support a charity? What is the end goal? When I started my business, my objective was launch the company by making a big splash. But when I pushed for clarity, the objective sounded like this. Launch the company by using marketing strategies to connect with the community give back, and involve the dental industry. That clarity allowed me to focus on the location, on the charity, on the social media channels, and everything else. It pretty much outlined my entire marketing plan. So before you start any marketing campaign, I want you to zone in and figure out what is your objective. That's number one. Number two. Connect with your audience. Hi, my name is Manal, and I am a millennial. Hua! <laughs> and Tyler, you and I got to talk, buddy, because I hear you're a millennial too. On an average day, work day, you will probably find me emailing, messaging, texting, Facebooking, tweeting, researching, downloading, and taking a selfie, all at the same time. Hashtag FOMO, fear of missing out. According to Pew Research, 
millennials are the largest generation in the U.S. labor force. And baby boomers are more active on social media than they've ever been before. 57% of baby boomers are active on social media. I'm looking at all you. To be successful in today's world, we not only have to embrace this huge, enormous uh, millennial market, but we also have to acknowledge that the millennials, the boomers, and the Gen X have more in common than they have differences. What millennials want is recognition. What they want is to be recognized, right? What they want is community. What they want is efficiency. Don't baby boomers want that too? Who in this audience? millennials or baby boomers or otherwise, wants to wait forever for an outcome. If you can accomplish the task quicker and get the same results, wouldn't you want that? Yes, of course we do. Who in this audience, no matter what generation you belong to, does not want to live a life of fulfillment and have their work matter? We all share that. We are more alike than we are different. Remember, Technology is just a tool. It is up to us to utilize it. Facebook, just a platform. We go on it to share photos and videos and post. Twitter, also just a platform. We go on it to connect with other companies or hear from the president. <laughs> I fell in love with marketing when I was 12 years old. I was watching a cricket game with my parents at home on TV, and an ad came on, an ad about a flat screen TV. The first shot on this ad was zoomed in on a man who was crying. He had tears coming down his face. The second shot was zoomed out, and you can see him sitting on his couch and watching this television, the flat screen. So whatever he was watching was making him cry. The third shot was zoomed in on what it was playing. There was an onion being chopped. <laughs> How brilliant. I fell in love with marketing that day. Part two. No matter what you do, if, if you know, I understand that communication has changed from newspaper to chat boxes and we talk in hashtags now, but the bottom line has always been connect with your audience. What was true 50 years ago is true today and will be true tomorrow. So number two, connect with your audience. Number three, so we have a clear objective. We know that we have to connect with the audience by having a really good message, but the most important part is to make it happen. And we make it happen by enrolling and engaging our team. You know why? Because as business owners, we can do anything, just not everything. As business owners, we can do anything, just not everything. Just like in my story, I had one team member who was very, very known in the community, and she was deeply affected by a family member's struggle for breast cancer. My other team member knew how to put together events and she loved pink. I am really good at putting marketing strategies together. And as a hygienist, I'm also passionate about the oral health. Allow your team to show off their talents and discuss who they are. We heard about leadership and how you can be a leader today. I want you to provide your team a mutually beneficial opportunity. Give them a bigger purpose, something that counts, and your team will truly surprise you. They don't have to know social media. They don't even have to know the internet. But we all have to communicate, empower, and connect to bring the best out in each other. Hashtag squad goals. Picture this. It's a cold December morning, and I'm in my office, surrounded by more electronics than furniture, and I see an email pop in. The email is from the Guinness World Record. Thanks to having a clear objective, connecting with my audience, and enrolling and engaging with the team, I was able to launch my company by breaking a world record! <laughs> Not only did I break a world record for having the most amount of people switching mouthwash at the same time, <laughs> I was also able to give back to breast cancer research and spread awareness about oral health. Hashtag, I am officially amazing.
Today, today, I encourage you to shift your mindset, to accept that we are more alike than we are different. Who knows, you may be bestowed with the official amazing title. Thank you.